What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I thought it'd be cool to open up the brand new uh, Bacon Collectibles crate for uh, October 2021. And yeah, this crate's uh, pretty small actually. I'm wondering, is it just like the uh, Synchro Storm packs or something? Because I'm trying to think what came out this month, and I feel like it's that, and maybe what's, would they just like include some of the packs from the Mega Ten? I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think what all could be in this one, because if you don't know, Bing Collectibles has these crates that come out every month, and it's the newest stuff for that month. Of course, too, since, like, uh, Burst of Destiny, we had the sneak preview in uh, October, but technically it will come out in November, so next month's crate should include that set, so if you're looking for stuff on that set, I'm sure it's going to be in there, and I think also we have, like, the new Maximum Gold, so <laughs> there's a lot of cool stuff coming out next month, but uh, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. Also, I do have a coupon code and stuff, too, that will help you save some money. It will be down in the description with Big and Collectibles. And, uh, yeah, they're a great place to get some cards. They always have stuff in stock and everything, too. So, check them out. Let's see. There. Open this up. Oh, yeah, it looks like some Mega Ten stuff. I was wondering what would be in this. We got a couple of those. Then Lightning Overdrive. Then any Synchro Storm? Maybe not. Maybe that'll be in the next one, then. Because it was kind of late towards the end. I know they have to put these together, so sometimes some things kind of get lost. I think it's if it comes out after the 18th, it's in the next crate is what they told me, so maybe that's it. And we have Donna Majesty and another Lightning Overdrive. Okay, so I assume Zancro Storm then will be in the next one. Next one's going to be really good. Like, seriously, check out the next crate for sure. I like all of these because, again, you're guaranteed to get the newest stuff, but uh, yeah, you're going to have Burst of Destiny, um, let's see, the Gold Series, and Synchro Storm. That's, and I, I don't know if there's anything else, but I feel like at least on those, that should be good. Or I assume the Gold Series is out before then. It might be in the one after. I don't know. We'll see. But let's go on ahead and open these up, see what we get. We'll go with our random stuff. If it didn't even include the Gold Pack, you still get Burst of Destiny and Synchro Storm, which I like both those sets. They have some cool cards in them. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we have an Upside Down pack here. Maybe that's a good sign. I don't know. And... Uh, oh yeah, that's a uh, super rare. For a second, I thought it was higher rarity. I don't know. Uh, Despian uh, Comedy. So yeah, that was kind of weird. I was hoping maybe something crazy was going to happen. You get like multiple hollows or something. It's happened a few times, but that'd be really cool. I've had some weird openings. You open up as many packs as I do, there's going to be some missed packs, of course. Alright, what else we got here? And we have Bujin uh, Torfoon. So just a super rare. And last pack of our like random stuff that's not like Mega Ten. So what do we get? Let's see. End with something awesome on this. Because we know we're getting hollows from those uh, Mega Packs. And... Ah, oh, it's just a S Force Edge Razor. I was hoping for at least something above a super rare, but yeah, <laughs> unfortunate. That's how it goes sometimes. But we know we basically have a ten and a plus one pack. So let's open these up. Maybe get a cross out. That'd be cool. I am missing one, and I think I need. I think I got my triple talents. I need the other one too. I can't think of right now. The uh, I can't think of the name. The spell card. Dang. <laughs> I keep doing that where there's like certain cards in this set. I'm like, okay, what's in this again? Maybe I'll think of it here in a second. The other big spell card in the set, basically, is what I mean. We have uh, one of the Infernoble Arms, super rare. Then uh, Trap Tricks, uh, Alamor Alamuris, bleh, can't say it. Ice Dragon's Prison, that's actually really good. I think I only had one, so there you go. Then, of course, we have one of the uh, Virtual Worlds. This one's Kieran. And... Then we have, uh, let's see, one of the uh, Dogmatica, uh, I can't read it through here, Fluoridellis uh, the Knighted. Okay, that was too shiny. I was like, nope, can't read. <laughs> there, kind of organized, I don't know. And Virtual World was a rare. Can't go wrong, really, with the uh, Mega Ten stuff. If you get anything, you, you should do fairly well. Basically, though, you always want to see some spell cards in the Ultra Air spot, because those are the ones that are tough to get. All right, what else we got? Drytron, uh, Gamma, and Talon. Then, uh, Super Heavy Samurai Wagon. Then we also have, uh, Tri Brigade for Jeed, uh, the, uh, Baron Blossom. Pretty cool secret, I have a few of those. As well as, oh yeah, the, the Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. 
I've thought about building them now because I think they're relatively budget. Maybe? I don't know. i have to double check on that. And uh, we got one of the charmers, uh, Asya, the Earth Charmer. Yeah, I've been debating on actually building Phantom Knights for fun now because I like them for obvious reasons. I mean, look at the username. <laughs> but they were always kind of expensive, so I was like, eh, I don't know, I don't know. So maybe now's the time. Let me know. Would they be considered budget now? I think they would be, you know, especially if I built them just right. I want to do some more budget deck profiles anyway that because uh, I've been remote building with my friends, so it might be fun. Also, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, please, because my, I think the algorithm changed on YouTube because my views aren't doing as well. Maybe it's me. Maybe I suck now. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll take, you know, I'll, I'll take the, the, the blame, I guess, on it too, but let me know on that. And uh, please like and subscribe. That really does help because, yeah, views and stuff have been really weird. Emancipator Analyzer. Then we have uh, Noctovision Dragon. Also, we have Win the uh, Win Channeler. That one's pretty cool. I got that from when I got one of these tins early. Nail Shadow Aerial. And uh, we have, uh, let's see, Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. So, I mean, we're not getting the spell cards at all in this spot. I was really hoping to at least have a little bit of a, you know, a moment where I could be like, hey, cross out. Nope, we didn't even have that chance at all. But there's still one pack left. Okay. <laughs> Share your energy with me. Let's end with a cross out designator. Or, like I said, that other one I can't. Nadir. Nadir, that's the card. I could not think of it. Nadir, that's the one. Um, let's see if we can end with one of those two, because I think I've only gotten one out of all these packs I've opened up. So, let's see. Yeah, I think I actually have more crossouts than that one. Okay. Mister, another one I've been kind of debating on to build for fun. Just because. And for Noble Arms. Then Trap Tricks Elamoris. Okay, seen these two. Then we have Gaia, the uh, Magical Knight of Dragons. I, I really like this one. Also, we have another Asya and uh, another uh, Nail Shadal Ariel. So basically doubles just about on that. Unfortunately, no chances for like cross outs or anything. Like I said, no spell cards in the Ultra Rare spot. So you kind of know you're not getting anything on that. But not too bad, really. I mean, out of the crate, you're getting um, a 10 and then, like I said, a third, I guess, of another 10. Um, these are about $30, I believe, so when you round it up, you're getting your value. I feel like you're getting your money's worth on that, but uh, especially, like I said, next month, I think will be really good because I think normally when a new set comes out, you get basically half a box and uh, then some like other random stuff thrown in too, so I think it's going to be worth it, but let me know what you guys think, and of course, too, I'll open up next month too. Hopefully, I get it a little bit sooner. I know because things are so weird with supply and stuff too. I know he's having a hard time keeping up with everything because I've actually talked to him on it and he's like, I hope we get it a certain amount. And yeah, I guess that's also affecting Yu-Gi-Oh. I know it's everything in the world is really weird right now. So yeah, uh, as always though, thank you guys for watching. Check out Being Collectibles. They're great. And uh, like and subscribe. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.